Greetings, YouTube. It is exceptionally rare that I make a suggestion that not only uh, goes into implementation like less than a week after I make it, but it's the exact suggestion I made. Uh, this is all coincidence, of course. I still don't think Kabam necessarily watches my channel, so a lot of people have the same idea. So please don't think I'm taking credit for this. I'm just thankful that it's happening. So uh, as many of you know who do Alliance War, we have this new, really kind of strange matchmaking system that not only isn't matching up people with even alliances in many cases, but most importantly, if you live on this side of the globe, you're having to either set your alarm to a super ungodly hour just to complete your path or sleep through the end of tier uh, three, I guess you could technically say, and uh, miss the opportunity to win. So... I suggested that they just move everything four hours, thinking about my friends from across the pond and how they're about six to seven hours of a time difference, at least from Central Standard Time. You know, you move everything from like four to seven, that gives everybody over there the chance to actually, I think, have the time slot lottery win. Of course, the people who messaged me saying they finally have the best time slot ever in India and South Africa no longer won. <laughs> You're probably pretty disappointed by this news. But in general, I appreciate that Kabam heard a lot of similar feedback and wanted to implement changes fast because Alliance War, as it is, drains a lot of people. And this new system and the new time slots were draining people even faster. I still wish we didn't have all this tanking going on. Uh, I really wish that they would just be very smart and in the off season just freeze everybody's ranking between seasons. It's not like in sports, the off season matters at all for the previous season's rankings. It's not like you can determine your fate. Uh, you can play exhibition games, but they don't count towards your overall score. Think about like the National Football League and the preseason. You can be 5-0 and in preseason. It doesn't mean a darn thing once the regular season starts. So really, I still don't understand why this off-season thing makes sense. I, I think it's so dumb that you can actually affect the placement of your alliance by tanking, which gives so many people at the top the incentive to not place any defenders or place one stars like we were facing in our last alliance war in my alliance personally. And then, of course, you're matching up against these super hard alliances when season starts for people that actually tried to win. And there are going to be people who are like, just shut up and take the easy win. I, I think that's dumb. I think that uh, they just need to freeze everybody's rankings in between seasons. Problem solved. If you want to get a couple of Lions Wars in for a chance at some off-season rewards, great. If not, you're not going to be hurt by it either. So let's get to this exact post because I am pretty pumped up about it. Uh, Kabam Mike says, and by the way, this is on page 30 of the link that I'll post and pin the comment. It was kind of hard to find this because there are 31 pages of the, as of the time of recording this. Uh, 31 pages of feedback. And so this is found on page 30. Thank you for all your feedback on our new matchmaking system. We have a, new, a few fixes that are going to be implementing to address some of your concerns and bugs that have been discovered. Matchmaking time. While we understand that any time we choose for matchmaking will make it difficult for one group of summoners over another based on their location, we are going to move the matchmaking window back by four hours. Yay! The new matchmaking window will be from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So Eastern Time, that's three hours after that. And uh, Central that is, of course, uh, two hours past that. So that would be 5 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. This also means changes to the enlistment periods. Here is the new schedule for the matchmaking phase. So Wednesday, 3, Friday, 3, Sunday, 3. And then the new schedule for the enlistment periods you see there as well. The reasoning for this window is to align is our previous matchmaking times. This way, no alliance will enter their attack phase earlier than it used to be possible, which is 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The system will also correctly go from top down, meaning the top alliances will be matched first. That is awesome and the whole point of this new system. This change will take effect Wednesday, February 20th. Match quality. We have seen from a number of you that you are still being matched unfairly and against alliances that are not a fair fight. We are investigating the cause of this issue and are working to improve the quality of matches as soon as we can. I appreciate that transparency, Kabam Mike. Season 8 delay, because we want to ensure that we have fixed the issue regarding match quality, we'll be delaying the start of Season 8 by one week. I actually think two to three weeks of delay in between match, uh, or Alliance War Seasons, I should say, is just perfect regardless. Alliance War Seasons 8 will commence on February 27th. 
Uh, as we previously mentioned, we are working on a fix for an issue where new recruits are not able to join the next war despite joining before matchmaking. We are working on a fix for this. And again, Wednesday, February 20th will be when that's implemented. Thank you for your patience and for your feedback. We're still going to be analyzing data and collecting more feedback during the next few wars. And we'll adjust further if necessary. Everything about this is fantastic. Hats off to Kabam. Always love to give credit where credit is due. And there's a lot of credit to be given in this case. I still just wish we could freeze our alliance's placements from when the season ends to when the season begins because this tanking thing is really a big issue and you know that uh, some top alliances are going to try to move their enlistment period back by going 0 for 5 in the off season or whatever it's going to be and maybe just maybe my big concern with this new thing is that by delaying season 8 for another week you're giving more top alliances a chance to tank an additional week thus sandbagging their score and making it very uh, unfortunate for the alliances who have to go up against them at the beginning of Season 8 that are playing by the rules and trying their best and still being punished. So, kabam, not that you watch my videos, but maybe if somebody in Canada got bored and happened to click across this and you're hearing this feedback, please consider just making the off season a non-consequential chance to own to earn a couple extra rewards and practice in alliance war but not have it be something that you reward tanking this is not uh, something that we should be encouraging as a community and it has been going on for far too long so what do you think of the new enlistment periods especially those of you that aren't in the united states or canada across the pond how are you feeling about this comment below and let me know and as always Thank you for supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel. I'm very excited about these posts overall. Thank you to Kabam again for hearing our feedback as a community and being transparent. The only other thing I'll add before I end this video is instead of going to page 30 on a forum post, probably great that the same time you put this on a forum post, you put it in the in-game inbox so no one misses it. Just a thought, Kabam. Just a thought.